of the Malpa Applications team. Today, I am very excited to show you guys a new feature in Design Shop V11, and that is the faux marrow settings that we have built into your DS11. Um, a lot of you are probably wondering, Josh, I don't even know what a marrow is. But if you've ever picked up a patch, chances are that it has a nice marrow edge on it. And you can see on this one, gives it that nice looping effect around the patch. Looks nice and clean and finished, right? Now a marrow border is done usually with a marrow machine, right? You embroider out the patches and then you run it through the marrow machine. Uh, marrow machines are spendy. So we over at Melco came up with a pretty genius way to mimic that on our machines using the DS V11. Um, you've probably noticed my sweet swanky hat already. Um, and that was done with the uh, marrow. So if you guys want to check that out, it looks like there was a patch on my hat already, but that was just done in your normal hat hoop um, in the WACF. So pretty awesome. This is going to give you a little bit more of an option for your customers. Um, it just looks nice and clean. So today I'm going to focus on showing you how to set up a design and some of the features in Design Shop to do this on a hat. Um, at a later date, I'll probably go through and show you guys how to do a patch with it because um, I have it set up in there as well. But yeah, pretty awesome stuff. So let me swap over my camera real quick and I'll show you in Design Shop what we have. Uh, we'll recreate this uh, steel logo here, you know, because steel chainsaws are definitely the best here in Wisconsin. So let me swap over real quick. All right. So if we're looking at the Design Shop V11 here, if we come over to, first let's load up our file. So I'm going to go file and we're going to open up just that steel. And here's my logo. Say this is your customer's logo that they already have, right? I got a three color logo here. Now if we come over and we go over to the select automatic custom shape input feature right here, I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Um, in your drop down here, you have, we have emojis, we got a bunch of stuff, but we're going to find this foam marrow. So how we have this set up for you guys is there's a three inch circle. This has got a fill in background. This one is just blank, no background. So you can pick and choose how you want. Um, we got an oval and we got a rectangle. We're going to use the filled rectangle here. So a couple ways to do this, easiest way is just drag, drop, bada boom, bada bing. We have pretty much a patch set up and ready to roll here. So if we take a look, we can center that up. I'm going to drag this so that the patch itself sh uh, sews out first. Drag that on up. And we might need to resize our logo a little bit here. So let me do that. We'll grab our logo. And I'm just going to shrink it down a hair. It doesn't need to be much. We'll line this right back up. And now you guys can see we have pretty much simulated a patch here. If we do a slow redraw, you can kind of see how the marrow is going to be done. So it's going to do in the giant fill first. And then it's going to come back and do that border. So this works out much nicer than the just a satin border on there, right guys? It's going to look so much cleaner. Um, it looks really awesome. I did a couple patches of it um, when we were designing this and it just closes up those borders and it looks super professional and you can do it all right down in house. So you can see it's actually sewing out. Nice marrow border there. Um, have you guys ever have any experience with the marrow machine or um, have you used this feature in Design Shop? I'd love to hear about it. So if you guys have any uh, comments on that, Put them down below. Be awesome to hear. We don't need to watch the rest of this so well. Um, so that is the pre-made one. Um, if you wanted to, also, we have this set up so that you can use it for applique. So if I grab this other um, marrow here, my computer, whatever, cooperate. If you look in this, let's pull this up actually into a new window. We'll do a new. 
we'll drag this one up. So how I have this one set up is it's going to do your first um, uh, walk stitch here. So what I did there is I set this up for applique, you guys. So you can use that as your applique, and then it can come back down. So I would just double this up. I left this line in here for, um, you can just duplicate that. And now you have two of them. So now you can actually make real patches with your badge master and all that good stuff. Um, doubled up in there. Cool feature. But we'll get in more to that on a different day. Today I just wanted to show you guys how awesome this, uh, this works here. So it's going to give you much more options for your customers. It just looks nice and clean. I mean, it, it hands down. I'm probably just going to keep wearing this hat, honestly. I mean, you guys can check it out. So that was just done on the regular cap hoop there. Nice fake marrow border. So instead of spending all your money on outsourcing, ooh, we got some good hair going on here. Uh, instead of outsourcing your patches, all that, you know, add a little pizzazz to your hats, you know, offer your customer something a little bit more. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, and yeah, I don't know why you have concerns about uh, a marrow patch, but um, yeah, if you guys have any comments or anything on this, I'd love to hear about your experience if you've used it before. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'll kind of dive in a little bit later on um, doing it as a standstill patch. But for now, I wanted to show you guys how cool it looks on a hat. So um, really easy feature. Once again, just getting into it. All we have to do is open up a new file. You come down to your automatic custom shapes. And in here, there's just tons. You just come over here and boom, click on that foam arrow. So... Oh, I suppose it probably would have helped if I would have shared my screen for that. Um, once again, just coming over here, and we can automatic shape. Use your drop downs, go down to the foam arrow. Super cool stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below or email us at applications at melco.com. And I will be more than happy to answer any of the questions that you have on the foam arrow. So this is the pre-made patches that we have set in there for you. It's going to come with your DSV-11. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, till next time, happy embroidering.